We are in 2020. In my language, that means that we have finished off 2019 and we can report results from that year in the real estate market in Toronto. Guys, have a look at these numbers. Just focusing on Toronto, the average sale price in Toronto at the end of December was $885,000. That's condos, that's freehold, that's everything combined. That is up 16% from December 31st, 2018. 16% price increase across the board in Toronto. Here's one stat that was that kind of blew me away. And that was in the detached home segment. So fully detached house in Toronto. The average price for that market is up 19% year over year. For many, many months in Toronto, we saw very slow growth on the detached home price. In fact, there were some months where we had negative numbers, but this is saying it's all come back and we've seen a 19% increase in detached homes in Toronto. The average detached home price is over 1.36 million. On the more affordable end, on the semis, so houses that have one wall attached to a neighbor, those prices in Toronto are up 6.9% year over year. That's far more in line with what we expected and what we want to see in the Toronto real estate market. Condos are up over 10% again this year, average price of over 650, and the average townhome is up to $642,000. That's actually down 1.6% year over year. In a nutshell, what we've experienced is this complete re-entry of first time home buyers to the market. So there was a there was a pause for about two and a half years where first time home buyers were on the fence, not sure what was gonna happen with the market. There was rule changes that changed the way policy uh, operated. Um, there was just things at play that were bigger than your, how much money you have um, as part of your decision. Qualification standards changed, taxes changed, everything really changed in 2017. Two and a half years later, we see the result of people absorbing the new rules, understanding this is a new reality. And many of us still wanna own our own places. So we're seeing first time home buyers accept that, just deal with it, move on, get into smaller places, understanding that there's a property ladder at play here. They gotta start somewhere to get going. The next year, prices will be higher a year from now than they are today. And prices will be higher two years from now than they are a year from now. So as an investor and as an investment focused realtor, I'm all in guys. Toronto market is going to be strong. I know it's expensive, but it's also gonna return some amazing results. So. Let's have an amazing 2020. Let's get it going.